It's clock! The secret to gargoyle is clock, ladies and gentlemen. No chemist, no bombardier. Just get your high merge stone gargoyle in the center of some lovely high merge gargoyles, guys, and you're going to be seeing the destruction this deck can do. Make sure you're getting some clocks on the board so you can merge them off, get them all high merge, and get them all slow in that enemy side down, guys. We've got a Demon Hunter Witch to start the day off, so that's not too bad. Obviously, we've got a couple of gargoyles on the board at the minute. We're going to continue to drop, continue to get a few more on the board. Obviously, we've got our Portal Keeper here today, so that is perfect coming up against the Witch because we're going to be able to move things out the way, get things debuffed, taken off of them, things like that, guys. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. But how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really, really well. Well, how are you finding the brand new faction blessing this week guys are you using the demon hunter are you using bruiser let me know what cards you're using down in the comments below guys and don't forget to be leaving a like on the video if you are enjoying all of the rush royale videos i've been putting out recently and if you are new to the channel guys make sure you are hitting that big red subscribe button come and join the family come and join the community that we are building over here ladies and gentlemen make sure you are coming and joining there will be a link to the discord server the co-op arcade in the description of this video guys so if you do want to come over and play some pvp play some dungeons anything like that guys i'll be in there you can hit me up at cedric and i'll be able to play some dungeons play some co-op anything like that guys but let's get straight into our gameplay today guys we've nearly got a full board we've got a couple of clocks on the board we've got plenty of gargoyles so we're not going to be wondering where our gargoyles are today guys we're just going to be moving them straight into position getting them all switched on with them dry eyes and then we'll be starting to level things up as and when we can do guys obviously we've got virus coming up first it's not too much to worry about i'm sure we'll be able to move whatever he does gloop up or whatever he globs up he's got some witches over there ready to send right on over he's got his priestess in there for some extra mana i can see he's only got the first talent on them as well so he's not getting any extra damage off of his units today ladies and gentlemen or off of his priestess today the only damage dealer he's got in there is his demon hunter and we all know how powerful it is guys but after the update 16.0 it is getting a little bit of a nerf ladies and gentlemen so we'll see if that actually decreases the use of demon hunter a little bit or if it decreases the use of witch a little bit we'll have to wait and see guys I can't see Witch actually going away, I really can't, I can see Witch becoming a bit more prevalent to be honest, as well as Shaman, I can kind of see Shaman becoming meta once again, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but we'll take it as we comes guys, obviously we've got two no, two brand new epic units as well with the Elementalists, and they look absolutely amazing guys, I don't know if you've seen any footage of them, uh, I'll try and chuck a quick picture up on there now for you to see, but that is basically two brand new units working the same way but slightly different guys they're going to be very interesting they're going to switch gameplay up quite nicely so it will be interesting to see what they bring to the game let's just keep on dropping though keep on going we've got a gargoyle and a portal keeper there that we've just switched around so we've got the debuff taken off of them and there we go we've just merged up a couple of clocks there so we are slowing him down nicely and we're working our way up to our merge four gargoyle in the center there guys and now we can go ahead and do that so we'll get that done straight away just so we've got that little bit extra damage guys because if you don't know increasing the stone gargoyles merge rank increases the damage output of your gargoyles and if your stone gargoyle is on one of them red tiles it is on your attack tile then the buff or the boost it does transfer to your surrounding gargoyles guys and that is a great tip that is a really really good tip you need to be knowing when you're playing gargoyle guys because that transfer that extra bit of boost that extra damage is incredibly incredibly insane guys you're gonna be able to see we're gonna be taking this man out so easily and he won't even know what's hit him guys he really won't he's going over there hitting our stone gargoyle so we're not bothered about that one little bit guys if we can try and find ourselves a merge one portal keeper to start merging them gargoyles round onto that merge two stone gargoyle that would be absolutely ideal but there we go we just leveled up another gargoyle there so we've got a second merge three around that merge four now as well ladies and gentlemen so the damage coming out from those two is going to be insane and if we can get working up towards getting another merge three or if we can try and get the portal keeper up there there we go we can start getting some more gargoyles switched on around that gargoyle there so you're going to be able to see the destruction that can cause like I said though guys, you've got no chemist in here to drop things defense, you've got no bombardier in here to stun things up, which does help a little bit against the bosses, but if you're not going to be taking it out without the bombardier anyway, then what's the point in having the bombardier guys? Same with the chemist, if you're not going to be taking it out before that defense drop and before they get the flip off, what's the point in having it? So you might as well have your clock in here guys, slow that enemy side down, and obviously with Demon Hunter, the clock is absolutely beautiful because it's slowing that Demon Hunter right on down guys, and there you go, we've got a level on that one there, we get it moved into the corner so it is out the way, it's not really doing too much for us, we're not really worrying about it too much, but you're going to be able to see as we do go later into these rounds, the Demon Hunter's speed, its attack speed does just start falling off ladies and gentlemen, and its damage just sort of disappears, it's exactly what you like to see, it is BEA beautiful guys, and we are going to be getting that last gargoyle right into position as soon as we can do it. As soon as our portal keepers are awake, I'm sure we'll be moving them around into position so they are all switched on. But you can see we've got that merge 2 there now as well. We could potentially get something merged onto that. We could potentially get that up to a merge 3. So obviously it is on a stone gargoyle, so it will be kicking out a bit of damage. But there we go. We've just got another merge 3 there because obviously we want to be leveling up the ones that are around my merge 4 gargoyle before we do start merging the ones up around my merge 2. 
But anyway, we've got that one up there up to a merge three as well now. So I've, now we've got four merge threes on the board, guys. We're looking absolutely beautiful. We've got a couple of clocks there we can merge off whenever we do need to. And now that's left with beautiful merge two clocks. We've got two merge two clocks, guys. They're at a level three as well now. We could get another increase on them when we do need to. But we're overrunning this man, guys. We might even be able to take him up before Warlock. And that would be absolutely beautiful. That is what we're looking to do, guys. Take him right on out before he can even make it through to another round. He's gone ahead and dropped his trainer, guys. But I don't think that's going to be enough to help him in this round. Two one and that is it ladies and gentlemen we take that victory we take them dubs that is exactly what you like to see we're gonna jump straight into another one see if we can do it all over again i'll see you guys in a sec is it weaker the witch ladies and gentlemen i thought it was magic council faction blessing but apparently i'm seeing more witches than i am anything else right now so let's just hope that we can take this man out as well we did very well in the first round let's hope we can do very well in the second round and we can just beat this man down into the ground guys we've got a go go straight on the back so we are going to be getting a bit of damage off with him once we do drop a few more units we'll hopefully get that portal keeper start moving him around into position and then we'll start looking a okay obviously we do have our attack tiles right in the center there which is very nice but obviously we have got a slow tile attached to them which is a little bit unfortunate but I still believe that's probably the best positioning that I could go for my gargoyles guys because we still need that stone gargoyle on that crit tile on that red juicy attack tile guys just so it's getting that extra damage and obviously the transfer the boost is transferring to your surrounding gargoyles guys so rather than just one or even two of your gargoyles having that boost all four or five of them will have that boost guys so it's very 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 good it is essential to be placing your gargoyles on them red tiles but we're going to concentrate on just getting things into position now we just drop a beautiful gargoyle down there and we get that one placed onto that slow tile as well so that's a bit unfortunate obviously once it is switched on it's doing a bit more work we're not going to be able to notice the difference too much until we start getting into them later rounds but hopefully we'll be able to take this disgusting witch out before we get too far into these rounds guys but don't forget guys if you are enjoying these videos please do go down and leave a like it really really helps me out and if we can join join if we can hit that big red subscribe button if you are new around here guys it really really does help me out and if you want a reason to subscribe to the channel we are the witch killer ladies and gentlemen we are taking witch out of rush royale personally we are personally getting rid of this disgusting unit guys tearing them into the ground one by one so hopefully they just have nothing left they have no more morale left hopefully we beat them down so hard that they just delete witch from the game but we are not probably going to be seeing that for any time soon. So let's just try and deal with it. Try and beat it into the ground. And try and just make sure we are going to be winning, guys. Because we don't like losing to Witch. Nobody likes losing to Witch. But if you do lose to Witch, it's completely understandable because the car's disgusting, guys. Don't worry. Don't feel bad if you do lose to Witch. Because it is Witch, guys. You know, it's disgusting. If you beat it, buzzing. If not, don't worry. Obviously, it does go ahead and hit one of our gargoyles there, but we rock our snowflake and we get it taken out instantly, so we're not worried about that. We move our gargoyles, we do get the debuff streak taken straight back off of it, and then once that portal keeps awake, we'll get it straight back into position, guys. We need to get more switch back on. We need to get them all leveled up, so they are looking juicy, guys. You can see we've got some dryads there looking very nice, and we could potentially get another one up to that merge three position now, or we could work on concentrating on trying to get that one in the center up to a merge four. Now we go, we'll go and do that. There we go. Looking good now, guys. So we've got a merge three on the bottom on an attack tile, and we've also got that merge four in the middle on an attack tile. So it's boosted surrounding, it's transferring to those other three gargoyles that are surrounding him, guys. And once we do get another merge one dryad, I'll be able to start leveling up a few more units, guys. Try and get another gargoyle up to at least a tier three, and then we'll be looking gorgeous. We've got just over a minute now until warlocks coming out, so it's not too much to be bothered about. Obviously, we've got no stun. We've got no defense drop, so if we don't take him out straight away, it could be unfortunate, guys. It could really go quite wrong. But at the same time, we've got the protection from all of our gargoyles, guys. So that is what we like to see. There's one, two, three. All our gargoyles are being protected around that surrounded stone gargoyle now, guys. So we couldn't ask for anything more than that. If Warlock's going to come down and hit any of them, they're going to be absolutely just uh, sat there staring. Oh, clock. Yeah, clock. Of course it is. I forgot I even had clock in this deck, guys. That is the first clock I've dropped of this game. And yeah, I forgot what my support unit was. But there we go. We get that debuff taken off of that portal keeper because we move it with the Dryad. And we've just got so many Merge 2 Dryads. I'm not really too sure what I'm going to be doing with all of the Merge 3, Merge 2 Dryads. But there we go. We get another one copied up there. We do merge them portal keepers up for a Merge 2 Gargoyle, which is a little bit unfortunate. But if we find a Merge 2 Harley Quinn, anything like that, I'm sure we'll be able to get rid of it. And we'll get it taken out into something else. Hopefully a Harley Quinn or a Dryad or something that we can use to level up another Gargoyle in future, guys. And we'll be able to do bits, guys. So there we go. We've just got our first Merge 2 clock. So that's doing a little bit more work for us. Should be slowing down quite nicely. And yeah, you go for that Stone Gargoyle, my boy. What are you going to be doing with that? <laughs> I love it when he hits my stone gargoyle because there's nothing you can do, mate. Nothing you can do. Even if you hit one of my 
live and kicking gargoyles. There's nothing you can do right now because we have got the beautiful boost and that one's just lost its boost, unfortunately, because of that disgusting witch. So, um, we're going to have to move that one back into place. Hopefully start low, slowly leveling them up. Did that just give him the boost again? I think we've got the boost back on that one there, ladies and gentlemen. So that is absolutely gorgeous and I can't tell if we do or not. Or was that... I think that shield protection marking was just there because we obviously moved in with the portal keeper so he was protected for a few seconds and now he's lost that boost so we're keeping an eye on that top merge three gargoyle guys we don't want anything to happen to him and there we go we do get them gargoyles merged up for a beautiful merge three dryad exactly what i was looking for guys and there we go there's that witch hitting that one so he does lose his boost unfortunately but he will not be doing too much else to us guys because we need to find that merge one portal keeper if we need to we can merge it all the way up to merge three because we've got ourselves that merge three portal keeper now guys so that is absolutely a okay that is absolutely what we like to be seeing merging up a couple of them we get another merge two harley quinn there so that's not too bad but we'd really love the merge one dryad thank you ladies and gentlemen that's what we like to see asking you shall receive and there we go we could potentially work our way up to getting a merge five gargoyle guys because that is what we're looking like at the minute we've got two merge three dryads we've got a merge two dryad we just need what two more merge two dryads so many dryads guys but obviously we do get that gargoyle hit so we're moving it out of the way and we should be taking this warlock out fairly swiftly move it move it move it Oh my god, that was really, really close, guys. Hopefully, we're going to be able to move this other gargoyle around and out the way before he does take us out. Oh, he's just healed up, but I've got no problem at all with that because we are going to be taking him out, no problem. There we go. Getting that last gargoyle back into position now, so our three tier threes are back surrounding that merge four now as well. Just got ourselves another Harley Quinn, guys, so we're definitely working our way up to that merge five gargoyle 100% ladies and gentlemen 100% you can go ahead and hit that all you want my friend because now we're going to get ourselves the merge five straight down there the one on the crap tower and that is an absolute essential boost that is a beautiful boost look at the speed he is kicking guys and we've just merged up for a merge two gargoyle which is a little bit unfortunate it's not really what i was looking for but we're getting our mini bosses taken out very quickly we're getting some nice high juicy crits from our beautiful gargoyle there God, it looks like he's going crazy. Look at the speed that he's firing. We get that merge up for another merge three dryad, guys, and it's exactly what we like to see. We're going to place that straight on that clock just so we are slowing this man down a little bit more. And now we're just looking for merge one clocks. Exactly like that. Let's get that merged off, guys. See if we can overrun him a little bit before Warlock does come out. We've got 10 seconds till Warlock's coming out. We can definitely overrun this man. Come on. Four seconds. Oh, oh he's taking two. Oh, we. No, he manages to hold on for this round, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take our Warlock out, though. Let's get nothing to worry about. And no way. It's a good job this game is good as over, guys, because I can't believe he's just taken out my Merge 5 Gargoyle there. I've worked so hard to get that 5 Gargoyle on the board, and he's taken him out just like that, guys. Just like that. Like it was nothing. Like that, word, like that Merge 5 didn't take me all game to get there, guys. Anyway, we are about to take the victory here. I think we've pretty much taken our Warlock out. And he is about to walk on through his gate. So it doesn't matter either way, guys. Because that's another beautiful victory. And that is what we like to see. Taking that Witch right on out. Get out of my game. 33 trophies. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Whew. So that is going to be the end of this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to go down and leave a like. And subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. It really does help out. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. We're building a family. We're building a community. And we're all just coming together more and more. But this has been your boy, Cedric. Until the next one, peace.